Okay. This is this is the uh, passenger. I mean the uh, driver's side thing that we just took off. So <clears throat> let me show you the new one I'm gonna put in. I already did the other side, but. joint here adjustment for your camber from the bottom great very great so we're gonna piece this together make it look exactly like this and then we're gonna put it back on so let's piece it back together okay put this in here <coughs> And the bolt, we're gonna mimic the OEM one. So we put that in there. Oh, you know what I forgot to put in? <clears throat> I'm gonna throw in a little bit of red locker, the blue. So before I do that, let's put a little bit on there, on the ends. Okay. Same thing for the other side here. two pounds on each of these, okay? But I'm gonna put this on here to line it up. Okay. Now these won't go down um, by banging on this. You gotta, when you install it and tighten it down, this will start to go down. This will start to be uh, pushed down. So, um, I'm having it here for now for alignment of the bolts of these and then we're going to tighten these up install this after you're done you're gonna have to do an alignment for sure but this is cambered all the way out so I'm gonna adjust it in a little bit so when I go to the shop or when I drive to the shop I don't have so much 
and camber on there. So I'm get these loose. And like I said, I did the other side already. And I use <coughs> this as a measuring tool for now. side so like I said alignment is very important after you install this okay started okay I'm not gonna lie they gave me a little bit of trouble but um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this the, what I was talking about earlier I can't see it you see there no but when you start to uh, tighten it from the top <clears throat> this plate will start to push down so that won't be any problem okay so once you get the top started uh, going then uh, it'll start to push down so these ones they call for 47 pounds so let's go ahead and get that started Looking, I like it. I like that it's red, not just the car. Okay, now I gotta work on my spring. press so this will be another day another video but what does come with <coughs> the set is it comes with these guys here <coughs> this, is for the other side. this is for your top hat top one bottom and it goes in there like that okay. so I'm putting 
open that in. Make sure you put your grease in there so it's not squeaking around. <clears throat> you want a nice smooth, non squeaky. -ness. If it's a spring, lowering spring, or a regular stock spring, uh, you need a spring compressor, okay? So you, it needs to compress so that <clears throat> this doesn't shoot off and uh, you can lose a finger. So in my case, I have coils already, um, so there's not much uh, tension on here anymore. So I can go ahead and uh, <clears throat> loose the top here. This is what I need to release. So. Just kidding. Fourteen. <clears throat> it is okay. Two on top. And this was installed upside down. It's supposed to go like that. So that goes there, like so. Take out your top hat, okay? And <coughs> remove your spring. Take out all the goop, spider webs. Stop so but make sure you get these. Make sure you remember the way it came. <coughs> Put it back in the way you took it out. Right, then. Okay. Like that. Bump stop, look. Huh. It's probably the original. Those trash. So This is the, well it's not original, original Honda from Honda, but it's the same part number as a Integra Type R. So this is the same uh, length that they use in Integra Type R. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put this bump stop back in. Okay, right there, leave it there. Okay, and then uh, Put this guy back in, like so. Okay. This I gotta replace, so I got a new one here. So I'll jam the loop. And the pretty one look cool. And they got the OEM one in here. I gotta take that out. They had them both in there. take out these uh these bushings here replace them with the the energy suspension so see the sleeve in the middle I gotta take that sleeve out get yourself a little tool or something
too shy to use because they give you a lot and you don't want a squeaky rat. So, like that. Wrap it all the way around. Now, it doesn't go this way, it goes this way. that in. Okay. Do the same thing for the top. Let's loop this one up. All greased up. Okay. I'm gonna put this down for now. Cause we gotta do the sleeve as well. <coughs> so let's get the sleeve on there. Push this guy in. <coughs> Get your sleeve. Sleeve will hold. Yeah, the sleeve is holding it together. up now your lines okay. up and let's get the bolt started on the top for now <clears throat> all right this piece is going back in right here this needs to go <coughs> in between here so this needs to be turned this way okay and then this one can go up make sure that thing that little slots in them where it's supposed to be yes I can see it visually <coughs> the bad part so you get the fresh soft part gotta do the bottom this guy same way slowly coming through Seven pounds. Forty-seven. Okay. Now we got one for the top. Thirty-two. Thirty-two pounds. Okay. Thirty-two pounds. 
Yeah. You're done. Yeah. You can get your uh, brake lines. Come back in. Now there are the torque specs on these too, but you just get tight. You just don't want it to move. But if you must know, I think it's like 16 pounds or something. 16.16. I mean, I could do it, huh? Since I have it. Now, uh, if you need to do any adjustments to your coilover, do it now before you put all this stuff back together. So, uh, let me do that. Let me match the other side and um, then I'll show you. Connect those two. I went ahead and adjusted my coilovers. Let's make sure they match on both sides. Okay. Now, <coughs> you need to hook up your patrol arm. So you take off your nut. Okay. Right here, you need a little help. So, you're gonna lift this back up. Okay. And this is gonna come down too, so. But, pick it up. Place the lower ball joint. All right, these two nuts here at the top, 36 pounds and 22 pounds. down all the way. I think what did I say? 36? Yeah. 35. 35. Put your cotter pin back in. Alright. Put this back in. And uh, that should be it for that install. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm not tightening it in right now because I'm going to have to remove this whole assembly. I'm going to have to remove the nut. The uh, the brake brake pads replace the rotor, and then the lower ball joint needs to be replaced. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so uh, to the next video. Thanks for watching. Here's another view of what you did. Pretty pretty pretty. All right. Peace.